Donald want to know if Liver King 2.0 is natty or not. Leaked emails. You're either on steroids or you're not. If you think going and eating liver is going to get you jacked like Liver King, you're an idiot. That was a lie. Shocking to say the least. Turns out the Liver King was in fact lying. I don't look like Liver King. And yes, I'm on steroids. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Testicles. The Liver King is not natural. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I know this may come as a shock to a lot of you. Uh, he wasn't natural and he currently is not natural. So without further ado, let's jump into it because the Liver King himself made a claim to all of us that after he was exposed by More Place, More Dates and Vigorous Steve, who revealed what his cycle was after Liver King not only doubled down, he tripled down, he went down as many times as he possibly could to try and convince us all that he was natural. And then question number two, Natty or not? <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. But after being exposed, the Liver King then of course took it upon himself to make a pact with his fans and the people that are watching that he will become a better version of himself naturally. To answer your question, yes. Okay. You oh, would go Natty. Yes. So are you going Natty, that's it? Yes. Now for me, right off the bat, it's gonna be hard to trust a guy that already doubled and tripled down lies to us. So how am I ever gonna believe a single word he says from here on out? But I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll take it with a grain of salt. Sprinkle that on top of my dinner. I got a buffet of fresh, raw testicles. I'll take his word for it and see kind of what happens because I know as soon as you come off cycle, damn well, majority of your gains are gonna disappear. You may be better off than where you started, maybe gained a few pounds of muscle that you're able to keep. It helped you reach your natural genetic potential faster. So you're ahead of where you started, but you are not maintaining no liver king physique. Mark my words, I will bet this house on it. So first he does his 60 day post. It's been 59 days Natty. one more day to celebrate 60. And let me just do uh, an analysis. This was at the start of March and at the time of this filming, let, let me check the date just to be positive, it is March 28th. And that was his 60 days of being natural. So we are approaching 90 days of Liver King claiming to be natural. Right off the bat, I'm calling Cap. The man's physique has not changed a lick. If anything, it's actually improved. And what I mean by improved is he has what seems to be less stomach distension than when I interviewed him. He had the bubblegut bonanza type of thing going on. So maybe if he was to ever change anything in his protocol, change things up, he probably dropped his HGH dosage ever so slightly. So he has less water retention and less bloat or maybe it's just on more DHT compounds to maintain more of a dry type look. But 90 days is actually a quite substantial amount of time. It's not five years, it's not 10 years down the road. But for someone to go from it's taking as many things as the liver king was to then claiming, once again, to be fully natural now. January 2nd was my last dose. There should be a very, 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 very big difference in the way his physique looks. And I can say, once again, his physique has not deteriorated. He has not lost muscle mass. If anything, he's maintained his muscle mass while becoming more shredded. So if that's the case, then why would the liver king have not just stayed natural his entire life? Because apparently he would have better genetics than Michael Hearn or majority of the people out there in the world. I mean, maybe maybe liver is king. I do, uh, I have tried the raw liver with liver king himself. This is my first time ever trying raw liver. I'm just scrolling through his profile, you know, taking a look at his recent posts on Instagram. And it, yeah, he kind of became irrelevant after his lie was exposed because I felt like he was super popular and prevalent just because of the natty status. And once that was taken from him, uh, what really did he have to fall back on? Testicles. Just to go out and eat raw liver, but then also take Trembolone on the side. I, I really don't know what his message was. But here's the main thing too. So after he was exposed, his cycle was blasted out on the internet. Everyone and anyone was making a video they possibly could, myself included. Why he decided to claim that he wants to start going natural, I don't know. What reason? Like your cycle was already blasted out there to the internet. Like who, what are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to make this message for? But let's say for instance, I'm on Trenbolone, testosterone, HGH, just about everything in the books. If that got exposed out to the world, why would I stop? I would just continue doing what I'm doing, acknowledge the lie. I, I don't get 
the rebuttal or the trying to become a better person by going natty? Like what's that accomplishing? Because if anything, all that's happening now is he's still not natural, but now he's claiming that he's gonna be natural and he's doing this whole, you know, sobriety 60 days, 90 days, oh, two years natty, but yet he's just in the back of his closet or, you know, in the side room over here, injecting his trend balloon daily. So his message is, I guess, to lie and then lie some more. And I'm sure he'll probably make a rebuttal to this video or something like, oh, I'll go do blood work, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll jump through this hoop and that hoop. But the thing is, if someone knows a test is coming, they're gonna pass it every single time. Why do you think majority of professional level sports, whether that's UFC, basketball, NFL, they get away with it? All you motherfuckers on steroids. All you motherfuckers, all you on steroids. It's just some people get caught. Majority don't because they know how to beat the test. Now, does that mean I will not test Liver King? I mean, I may just show up at his door one day. Who knows? Leave a like on the video if that's what you want me to do. And I will give him a random drug test, see if he passed, see where his, you know, HGH levels are at, his testosterone, the nanograms per deciliter, see what other compounds he's got flowing and coursing through the Liver King body. Come here, come up here. I need, I need an expert opinion real quick. Now this physique on screen right here, you think, that's natural or not? So Barry has confirmed it. Liver King is not natty. Shocker just as much as the first time. Whether it's 60 days, 90 days, 120 days, however many days sober or natty sober, I'm not gonna believe it. I can't believe it. There's just no shot. If someone's blasting as much gear as he was, you've done that much gear too, huh? Yeah, you know how it goes. Your physique went downhill quick. Their physique is gonna deteriorate. Barry can testify. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, it goes to purchasing this guy his next cycle, which as you can see, he's getting a, a little worked up from all the trend balloon. Have a great day. Liver King is not natural.